So it's a catch-22. You know, like you're not going to make any money unless you catch, you know, Rod, you know, I'm speaking in an extreme here, but you're not going to make any money unless you catch Rodney King 2.0. But but you view yourself as succeeding when the cops behave themselves when you're filming. Because a lot of times I have put cops on notice and they do start be, being more calm and more calculating. And uh, I've, I've had people tell me that the cops started treating me with dignity and let me go or, or ended the traffic stop when you showed up. And, you know, they were being really, really rude to me until you started filming. I, I, I've had that happen to me dozens of times. And it is a catch 22 because the boring videos is what you want to happen. But the more exciting arrest or police brutality is what uh, unfortunately drives more clicks. So, you know, speaking of that, you know, people need to like, you know, hook Bunny up with a super chat. You know, you know, B Bunny needs to uh, buy a new pair of shoes. He needs to go to Vegas and buy some Coke. I mean, uh, and hookers. No, I mean, you know, Bunny's str struggling. He doesn't he, he doesn't spend money frivolously. And I do. You know, I mean, it, it, if you're feeling so inclined, you know, jump up and down on that super chat and, and hook a brother up or our brothers up because, you know, we do this from the heart, you know, and, you know, you can't eat your own heart. So, yeah, hook us up. Yeah. And I mean, that's part of the reason why, I mean, I turn to with uh, I, I do the Patreon thing. I charge per video that I do uh, on that aspect. It's like, hey, guys, if you want to throw me, a, I mean, a, a, a line out there. Here, uh, just pay me a buck for each video I mean from you. That's all I'm really asking for. You get actually quite a bit. I throw behind the scenes stuff when I have a chance to upload that stuff. Early access, if I have it, I, I throw that kind of things out. Uh, those kinds of things out there uh, as a low reward for those. At least throw a buck, and then I do shout outs for those that want to do ten bucks. And I thank the people that I mean do that aspect because it's just better that way. Because I can't be out there constantly getting video footage. And always have a stockpile up, because as is first amendment testing and uh, cop watching can um, each has their risks within that aspect. I view cop watching as a lower risk than uh, first amendment testing. Others view it as the other way around. But I mean, as is, I already got two cases I'm currently dealing with when it comes to first amendment testing. Yeah, it's a difficult call because the cops are more more aggressive in and less aggressive in different areas so some places it's safer to do audits and some places it isn't yeah it, it, especially when it also comes to the cop watching too we've seen people that stopped and do cop um, watching get him to buy bunny products. yes charlie dog that fella out there in uh, texas who had that cop aim the pistol at him wants to know if he can call into the show uh Colin, he has something important I, to talk talk to you about and us about he has an important uh, announcement and issue that he's going through okay did he say that on your chat or was that on mine yes he just said it on my chat okay well uh oh, that's right charlie dog has been having a lot of issues let's see if i can get the hangout up and going here so okay and at least you'll be able to hear with a new setup uh give me a sec here uh try to get this up and going so this way he can get in because yeah let's go ahead and uh that's because he was the guy that uh we just during the test run it was like a, a quite the weird discovery yeah yeah okay so and you guys remember he's the guy that the cop aimed the pistol at when he was uh riding his bicycle behind the car okay um charlie dog i'm gonna be posting a link i only want charlie dog to click on that that is a Hangouts link. Um, if you're still using a phone, you need to get Google Hangouts on there and use that link to go ahead and communicate with us. Um, as is, I'll leave that open so that way you can hop in. I still yeah, got to, yeah, I, I still got to set up a phone number kind of thing, and I still got to figure out how to properly integrate that with uh, all the stuff that I got going on communication-wise. Because um, the issue when it comes to like integrating multiple technologies is trying to figure out how to make them all work together properly where I can manage it. And uh, when it comes down to uh, what I got going on, the reason why me and Mike Blue Hair are now using Discord mainly to talk with each other is because if there's something going on with the audio, we can adjust it. Well, I, I'm able to adjust it on my side <laughs> of things to better so everybody can hear it and all that stuff. 
when it comes to like with hangouts and stuff like that I can't adjust people's individual volumes it causes problems and uh, that uh, that's been an issue with uh, I gotta, I'm trying to remember who was the one person we had that was the volume was all over the place and I'm sitting there fighting to constantly keep the volume adjusted properly while also being able to try to talk and then fight it between you and them it was it was probably about over a month ago there so I but, don't yeah. remember I'm, I'm too feisty and cranky to think right now I'm gonna sip some water <laughs> but yeah um, as is when it comes to doing this live stream stuff and especially the way I got it set up it is not easy especially that where it benefits uh, both me and Mike blue hair at the same time where I, I'm using two different applications to do the exact same thing. What's Hangouts? That is the um, the uh, voice and video uh, over IP thing that Google does. You know, YouTube would make quite a bit more money for itself if it would make Hangouts more user-friendly. Yeah, but Hangouts is part of the Google Plus ecosystem that failed. And is this tech support? I, it could be in a way, but um, as is, do people... You... Do you believe that they're going to just shut down the Hangout YouTube? I don't think so. It's too well integrated into YouTube and too well, too often used that it's uh, okay. not much of an issue. Uh, well, it, it's it's too integrated with YouTube itself that and such a valuable tool just in its basic form right now that they're not going to get rid of it. Though it does have strong competitors that are uh, but aren't used because it's just. Um, you got to set up accounts and all that stuff and then get people to roll over to it where you make a YouTube account, you're a YouTuber. Well, guess what? You have access to Hangouts already. So it's just a matter of logging in, make your settings uh, proper, and you're, you're go uh, good to go. Gravy. Kind of like FaceTime. Yeah, well, YouTube FaceTime. And even then, I, I don't even use... I barely use Facebook anymore except for certain uh, things. Uh, Facebook is... I Go I ahead. use Facebook to uh, communicate with people that I wouldn't otherwise be able to on, on in other parts of the country, and that's all it's good for. Aside from giving me stuff to post on Steam, it there's a lot of stuff that I posted. Uh, you know how YouTube will send you a memo saying you posted blah 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 last year or whatever. Yeah, I'm cut and pasting that as Steam it articles into my Steam it blog because it's good content. It just didn't get it. It, it just didn't get looked at on Facebook. And people are responding to it favor favorably. So I'm using, I'm transferring a lot of my old Facebook stuff onto uh, Steemit because why not? By the way, if you're not joining Steemit and following me there, you're an asshole. So don't be an asshole and follow me on Steemit. Yeah, let's see here. He hasn't hopped in yet. Uh, is he having issues or I, I think he's trying to figure it out. Yeah, but I don't have a, a good integration with the whole phone thing uh, going on at the moment. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, Charlie Dog, I'm going to email you my phone number. I'll check my email for your message as soon as I get uh, get off the show. Okay, brother? Yeah, and then I got someone posting something on my thing, something about C-SPAN... Junior titled. Okay, I'll have to check that out. It's a video, C-SPAN video. Well, wait, it's a C-SPAN video. So this is quite interesting. Kathleen Clever and Pennell Joseph on civil rights and race relations in 1968. Martin Luther King Jr. That, this is a little bit interesting. Do you want to give this a quick listen to? Of course I do. Because sounds I think, interesting. I, I, yeah, it sounds like it actually uh, might fit in with uh, what we've been talking about so far. Dr. King was a brilliant man. Uh, well, many people that were involved within the civil rights stuff uh, actually had some very good things to, to talk about. 